So what are slurs? The short answer, it's when you use your right hand to pluck one note and you're able to get two or more notes using your left hand. So how do we do this? We do this with pull-offs and hammer-ons, which we use across multiple styles of guitar playing. The only difference is that with Spanish guitar, the form is a little bit different. So if you're not familiar with this, definitely stick around. And even if you are and you wanna just double check you're playing with correct form, then definitely stick around as well. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. David Cherboga here with your Spanish guitar tip of the week. So why do we even use slurs to begin with? Well, one of two reasons. Either we use slurs for the actual sound it produces, definitely produces a stylistic sound of playing, and uh, maybe certain passages won't sound so cold by hitting every single note with your right hand. It will give it a little bit more of a legato feeling. Or for playing some fast passages, so by not having to pick every single note with your right hand and letting the left hand do some of the work, it might help out a little bit and might facilitate some passages that you might not normally be able to play. All right, let's start off with pull-offs. So a pull-off is basically when you pull off a string with your left hand to play a lower note on the same string. For example, from fret seven to fret five on the first string, instead of playing, if I wanted to pull off, I would just use the, the third finger, go into the first. So I'm just plucking once with the right hand, pluck, and then I pull off. Pluck, pull off. And you can use any finger combination as an example. We could use the second finger going to the first, so we could do sixth to the fifth. Or you can practice with the pinky to the first. Now the important thing with this is to make sure you're playing it with proper form. On the electric guitar, you could get away with just lifting up the fingers because you have the amplification and a lot of that power that where if you just lift up the finger, you already could get that sound. On here, it, it just really comes out really weak and you don't really hear that second note. So with Spanish guitars, we wanna actually pluck that note, pluck with the finger so that we can actually get a nice strong sound. If we just lift off, there's nothing. So even without using my right hand, you'll see that if I pluck with my left hand, I could get a note. So just like with rest stroke, when we rest on the next string, same thing with pull-offs in Spanish guitar. You wanna pull off and rest on the next string. Think about it like a rest stroke for the left hand. Third fret to first fret on the second string. Now to pluck this, you're just gonna push down and then off. So I'm gonna hit, hit it first with my right hand. Now push into it and down. Again, without even using my right hand. Same thing, if we're on the second fret, for example, maybe on the second fret, third string, and I wanted to pull off just to get an open G. I'm just pushing into the fretboard without too much tension, just letting it rest on the next string. All right, next let's go to hammer-ons. Now hammer-ons are basically just the opposite when you wanna start from the lower note and go to a higher note. Now, just as the name implies, you're hammering on. So you're just hammering a finger onto the fret. So this time we're gonna do the same example from the fifth to the seventh on the first string. We pluck from the right hand once. Now we take our third finger and hammer it on. Now, the longer we take, the less sound we're gonna get. Now with hammer-ons, you gotta really hammer on to get that sound. And usually the sooner we could do it after we pluck with our right hand, the better the sound is gonna be. Same thing, we could do it with the second finger as well. Or with the pinky. All right, the exercise that we're gonna work on for the pull-offs and hammer-ons is basically just going through all the finger combinations and going through all the strings. All right, we're gonna start off with pull-offs. On the first string, fifth fret. All the pull-offs are gonna go to the index finger first. So we're gonna do two to one, three to one, then four to one, three to one, two to one. And then we would just go up all the strings.
and etc. Just keep going up all the strings, doing this with a metronome of course, just to measure your progress and make sure you're doing this nice and clean with proper form. All right, so after that combination, now we're just gonna do pull-offs leading to the middle finger. And so forth. And lastly, just pull-offs from the pinky leading to the ring finger, to your third finger. And that should cover all your finger combinations. I picked the fifth fret because that's a comfortable spot, especially for beginners which have a hard time stretching on the first fret. But uh, once you feel comfortable, make sure you take this exercise and move it around the neck. Don't just play it on the fifth fret. Maybe if you feel a little bit more experienced, go ahead and try that in the first position, move it down the frets. But just pick a couple frets to work with every day and then just change it up every week. All right, now with the hammer-ons, we're just gonna do basically the same exercise but reversing it to work with the hammer-ons. So we're gonna start off on the first string on the fifth fret and we're gonna do hammer-ons starting with the index finger. And so forth. Then we're gonna change fingers Start on the 6th fret now, from the 2nd finger to the 3rd. And lastly, from the ring to the pinky. So just one little note on the technique and proper form of the hammer-ons. Make sure you're getting the action coming from the bottom of your knuckle, from this knuckle joint, so that it's a big range of motion, not just from the tip of the finger. All right, so if you're completely new to slurs, make sure that you follow this exercise to give you the proper form and a nice foundation. Use this as a, as a nice exercise to not worry about a piece and just work on the technique. If you guys need some more help with other Spanish guitar techniques or rhythms, make sure to check out the links in my description where you can find a ton more videos to help you out with your Spanish guitar journey. Now remember to keep patient, keep practicing, and most importantly, enjoy the journey.